it's quite clear at this point uh, that this second wave, unfortunately, is right upon us. A grim reality with an encouraging outlook. Despite a surge in the positivity rate citywide, the mayor insists the city is better prepared this time around. We are not seeing the kind of stress on our ICUs uh, anywhere near what we saw in the past, but we're extremely concerned. With his eyes set on tackling future health emergencies, Mayor de Blasio announced the creation of the Pandemic Response Institute, which he says will position the city as a global leader in pandemic response. The fact that we have learned a lot more about how to detect outbreaks and manage them, but we have to go a lot farther. That can be done here in New York City. Meanwhile, the first batch of 170,000 vaccines are set to arrive in New York on December 15th. Top priority groups include high-risk health care workers, nursing home residents, and staff. Then later, essential workers like police and firefighters, along with immune compromised and high risk adults. The vaccination process being described as simple. Appointments are scheduled, eligibility is assessed online, and after affirming on the day of their appointment that they are symptom free, they can show up and receive a vaccination. Governor Cuomo, who today gave us a first look at how the vaccines will be shipped, said his top priority when it comes to distribution, making sure communities of color are seen and heard. Blacks died at twice the rate that whites died. Browns died at one and a half times the rate that whites died. They've had less COVID testing. They have higher infection rates. City officials are expected to meet again tomorrow to talk more about uh, vaccine distribution with a focus on racial equity in an effort to avoid the mistakes of the past where communities of color were, for the most part, left out. For now, we are live in Midtown. I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.